In this video, we're going to get hands-on with the Fultric WLIR system. We're going to start by enabling our IR and DC cameras. The IR is the infrared, the DC is the visible light camera. We're going to go ahead and enable the IR on option here. And we're also going to go ahead and enable the DC option as well once the IR camera is enabled. And now you can see me here on the IR mode. We can also enable the DC mode, which is the visible light camera. You're gonna go ahead and select the USB camera, Logitech HD Webcam C310. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And you're gonna be presented with a message here that says there's an IR preheat time and we're also going to have to resample temperature sets for 10 different people after preheating. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And now you can see me. You can see the visible lights camera on the right side and the IR camera on the left side. And you're also going to see the IR preheat remain 9 minutes, 13 seconds and counting. We can also make it easier to see by disabling the DC camera and only showing the IR camera, which you can see here, IR preheat, nine minutes and counting now. While we wait for the IR preheat to finish, we can also talk about some of the different options available here. We have a dual setting, which is what we showed originally, where both cameras are actually enabled. This is the best setting for scanning crowds and people because you'll be able to see on both ends. Then you have an IR setting, which only shows your IR. If PII or personal, personal identifiable information is a concern to you, IR works great at only showing the temperature as people come in and get scanned. DC is the mode where you'll only be able to see the person. There is no thermal imaging here but the temperature reading still happens, so it's very useful to have that on here as well. We're gonna go ahead and select dual for a good view of both ends. Again, the preheat time takes around 10 minutes to complete. Once preheat is done, we're gonna follow to doing some samples and calibrating the camera.